Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guides to Adobe Photoshop Elements and Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements, dealing with a situation that seems to come up more and more. A lot of times people are using video that was shot on a phone, and most of the time that's okay. Phones produce terrific high definition and some even 4K video. However, the video in this particular case is shot upright, like this, for instance. And now you've got a video that is long and tall rather than wide and not so tall. If you want to see a video editor's head explode, give him this kind of video. But we see it a lot. It just seems to be a natural way, I guess, to hold your phone because a lot of times local news stations will get footage that somebody shot with their phone right on the scene and they're handed off this kind of footage. It's not a natural way to see. Your eyes actually see wider than tall. And so to see something upright like this is not so good. How do you deal with it when you do get it? How do you make it look natural? Because if my program is set in preferences here, let me go to edit preferences. If it's set to scale to frame size right here, default scale to frame size, my video is going to come in tall enough to fill the video frame, but not nearly wide enough because video frames are 16 wide by nine tall. While this video, is 16 tall by 9 wide. So we've got a lot of blank space there on either side and I guess we could use the footage as is. It just looks a little empty. Here's the technique that most professionals like TV stations use to compensate for that. Take a copy of the video and drag it down here to video track 2. We can even toggle open those tracks so we can see it. And then with the video on video track 1 selected Go over here to Applied Effects, open that up, go to Motion, and set the scale for 320%. Now what we've done is taken the video on Video 1, expanded it, and let me close Project Assets here, expanded it and filled out the video frame. It's useless footage, we don't really want to see it, but at least your video frame is full so people don't think there's something wrong with their TV. Now, to make sure that our audience is looking at the main video, which is the one on video two, rather than the background, let's apply a Gaussian blur to it. So let's go over here to effects. And if you just go down here to blur and sharpen, you can grab Gaussian blur, drag it right onto the video on the video one track. So we want to blur it. And in fact, by default, it's pretty good, but let's set the blur to about 20%. And that's all there is to it. Now we have something to fill out the video frame, but our focus remains on the main video. So let's see how that looks. There we go. Now our focus again on the main video. So we're using that upright 9 by 16 video. And we've managed to fill the video frame with something that's not terribly distracting. In the meantime, if you're shooting video with your phone, folks, please, I urge you and tell your friends, turn their phones sideways. Please turn your phone sideways. You get a much better picture. Look at this. You get a much better picture. It fills out the frame. It's naturally how your eyes see, wider than tall. This is the way to shoot phone footage. Just turn your phone 90 degrees and you get a much better video. And your video editor won't have to compensate by filling things out with this strange, blurry, side to side thing. Anyway, lots of tips and tutorials here at moviepix.com, but if you want to know everything about the program and how it works, be sure to check out our books, the moviepix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. They're available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.